Hey everyone, so today I'm going to mod my Nest Mini. So the very first step is to go to uh, GBA Temp and download the Hack, Hack G2. It's a Nest Mini uh, very simple pimp tool. So here's the download link. So go ahead and download it and save your file. Now I'm going to extract it. Okay, everyone, so my next step is to extract it. So extract to, just going to go to documents, and there you go. I'm just going to do it documents, then I'm going to go hex G2. So after that, we need to ensure all of our antivirus is off, Windows Firewall, and Windows Defender. Very important for a Windows Defender. Make sure that is off. Um, down here, we can go Open Action Center, and you can see that I have basically everything turned off. Windows Defender was a very big one that uh, kept giving me issues, so make sure Windows Defender is turned off. So your next step is to run the HaxG executable. So just run that. Um, then we're going to go to kernel and then we're going to dump kernel and we're going to say yes so now we're going to want to take the USB from the Nest Mini and plug it into our computer now on our Nest Mini we're going to push in on the reset button and push in on the power button right away and that will boot it into fell mode and you'll see that that screen automatically disappears or as soon as the uh, on screen instructions uh, disappear go ahead and uh, release the button right away So say yes to this warning. I said yes to that. So that's done. So the kernel is dumped. So we got a backup of our uh, Nest kernel. Uh, the next step now would be to flash a custom kernel. So let's go flash custom kernel. You say yes. Why it's doing that, I'm just going to copy some games. So there you go. So now we can upload games. So the next part is to add games. And then I have a top 100 that I want to play. Um, I'm just going to select Little Samson for now. Go open. Then I'm going to go to Google and find some cover art. There you go. That's your cover art. And then I know the date of this, 1992, when it was in November. And then it was by Tato. And then one player. So to find out all this information, you can actually go online. Actually, page 11 of this guide. And then find all your information. A release date and your multiplayer game list so here you go there's the game this is the release date that's who it was by or the uh, publishers and then this so that was just on Wikipedia list of Nintendo entertainment system games and then here's a NES multiplayer list guide so anything in this list was a uh, multiplayer 
Um, so there you go, so that's that. I already have a games database done, so I'm just going to go like this, paste. I have all that information filled out already. I'm going to say do this for all current items, yes. And So with that, I probably have to start my application again. So I'll just start up my application. I'm going to go ahead and install all these games. And you get the information on the side if you want while I'm going down. Apparently the Mega Mans are uh, not so uh, reliable. Uh, you have a few glitches in uh, 3, 5 and 6 I believe. Uh, apparently they're only minor glitches but a glitch is a glitch and the limit seems to be about 80 to 90 games so once you get up to that many games uh, you're going to start noticing some issues um, specifically we do, the community doesn't think it's a memory issue it think it's a emulator issue so uh, the emulator itself can only hold about 80 to 90 games is what everyone is thinking um, but there you go, so I have all my games added. Um, next I'm going to go upload games. Another thing, if you get any pipe errors, okay, so this should turn off in about 10 to 15 seconds, let's hope. There you go. So I believe it worked. So with that, we're just going to dis turn off the power. And I'm going to turn it on. And let's see what we got. Oh my goodness. Little Samson. Mappy Land. <laughs> Damn. It's great. Let's try Snow Bros. So what I was going to say was um I got a white screen on Snow Bros. Don't like that. Okay. So removing the game is just the reverse process, just go in and on select or deselect the game. And uh that should be it. So it don't look like Snow Bros is working. So I'm just gonna do a quick reboot. Let's try uh, Spy Hunter. Okay, Spy Hunter is working. So uh, I can confirm that the American version of Snow Bros don't seem to work. Maybe I'll try another ROM. Uh, cool. Cool, that works. There you go. Uh, let's try da, 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 so, uh, tournament fighters. Yep, tournament fighters works. Okay, so with that being said, if a ROM don't work, um, you can just go to that uh, GBA temp website, and uh, within there, so look for the hacks. G2 Ness uh, Mini, very simple pimp tool, and under the under the here it will tell you how to uh, how to remove a game. I forget which thread it's in or which page, but someone tells you here how to uninstall. Um, Okay, um, yeah, I don't know where the thread is, but it tells you how to uninstall a game. Also, if you get the pipe error, so um, when you're conducting a kernel dump or a kernel flash, uh, basically, 
uh, just go ahead unplug your Nest Mini. Uh, turn off the power on your Nest Mini. And then go ahead and then push Flash Original Kernel. And say yes, you'll get this warning. So with your Nest Classic unplugged, you'll take it, plug it back in, and then you'll boot into fell mode. That's the front end loading. So again, you know, it tells you here how to get into fell mode. And then that's when you would you would uh, hold down on your reset and then push power and then in a few seconds that text box would go away so if any of those if any of these uh, commands fail again unplug it and then go ahead and boot so yeah sorry if any of these commands fail go ahead and unplug your NES power it off run the command whichever one you're at run that specific command so let's take flash custom kernel for example so with the Nest Classic Unplug you'll get this uh, message then go ahead and plug your Nest Mini in and then boot it into fell mode and then after a few seconds this message will disappear so that's if you get the pipe error and then it should successfully complete uh, whichever uh, task, that, task that you're doing okay so that's it